All right, so there's one stream of consciousness from God writing the script, and it's actually, uh, if, you can, if you can hear what I'm getting ready to say, you've been blessed. So the Bible says this, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. I've got something in my ear that's kind of giving me feedback. I just took a shower, maybe that's the water in my ear. It's kind of making my voice to myself sound funny. If you can hear me, uh, praise God, you'll fall down on your face and worship God. If you can't hear me, you'll probably just call me crazy and everything else. So God wrote a script, and uh, the saints are following after Jesus in time. We're, we're repeating time. We're actually inside time. You don't want to be a time traveler. You want to be out. But while we're here, those that remain... Those that are still here, we're just following in series after Christ. Something's going on. I'm getting attacked to not get this message out. There's so many attacks happening right at the moment. Uh, I got a gnat. I had something on my windshield. I got something in my throat, something in my ear. This message is so important. I don't even have words for how important it is. <clears throat> If I have to talk slow, I'll talk slow. I know I shouldn't have a sore throat. It just came on me for some reason. It'll go away in a minute. So, let's see if I got any saw right here. I got a, I got a roll light. Hold on one second. So the message is streamed from God. That's why we have streaming services. That's why the, the, the flow, the stream, the off river, the, the river to, der, to derive something. In mathematics, you derive a, an equation, but also you have derivatives in math. You have derivatives of words in language. So everything's a derivative from the logo source. So everything's off river from Jesus. So as, as the culmination of ages of the ages up here starts to be revealed there's messages being sent from the spirit realm to the saints your mind just like when Dan Daniel prayed <clears throat> took two weeks to get the message but with you you can come if you're saved you can come boldly to the throne of grace and, and get the message instantly you know so I got this download today and uh, Get ready to discuss it real quick. So I told you about the gray. The gray is the color. The color gray is the the color of uh, conveyance. Uh, conduit wires are gray. Uh, satellite dishes are gray. If you look between the black and the white, there's a gray area. And so you look at the gray aliens people see. Those are messengers, you know. And so fallen angels you know so the gray area is a message so your brain has, is gray it's actually pinkish gray which is religion and a message so the message comes from the spirit realm to your body ship and your body ship's a portal and so the starboard side is from the stars from God the portal side is a is a port so you can speak it out of your mouth the discourse out of your mouth to other people give them the gospel you must be born again get saved so you are a portal as a messenger as an ambassador to God I mean to the world from God you're an ambassador from God for God to the world I'm going down the highway and I got about three things hit me at once so that's why I'm kind of scattered on my words for, for a second <clears throat> so the script is sent from God and the revelations are sent to the saints, the spirit. But the other humans, so this is going to explain the narcissist, the malicious narcissist. So the, the, one, the one script of the revelation of Jesus is being uh, sent through the saints, through the spirit. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So your mind is spirit. So the gray matter receives the message messengers and so you're a messenger of the good news now what does what happens is the good what is the good news it's by faith 
Now what happens when the, good, the message comes to the, to the gray matter of an unsaved person? They see it by works. They interpret everything by works. That's why a legalist and a Jezebel, they interpret it in the flesh because anybody who's under the law is in the flesh. And so the message of the spirit realm comes to the, to the gray matter of your brain. You digest it. You contemplate it. You turn it over in your mind. You rightly divide it. This is, this is exactly why some people, they have a hard time rightly dividing the word of truth because they don't have the spirit of truth. So what happens is that message comes from the spirit plane to the gray matter, the brain, and the unsaved misinterpret it. So then you, it splits off and there's two scripts. There's originally one script, but the script that splits off the demonic realm, uh, the unsaved are avatars of the devil, right? And so there's one story, there's one holographic fractal story happening everywhere at all times. And so no matter where you're at, no matter what family, what city, what home, what job, what church, what business, I'm over here at Home Depot parking lot right now. When I go in there, it's the same script playing out in there. You got saved and unsaved. You got avatars of the devil and you got avatars of God. Now the avatars of the devil are the flesh creatures. The avatars of God are the spirit creatures. So God is revealing truth to his people. Jesus split space time and he was God in the flesh as a as an avatar the, you know God man the God man I'm not calling you God but I'm saying you have the earnest of the spirit you have the Holy Spirit so you're an avatar when you walk in the spirit uh, you're an avatar of God you're representing your uh, ambassador of God the avatars that are walking around with no spirit, they're avatars of the devil. Now they walk around as NPC players and they walk around as background creatures when they're not possessed by the devil. They're just existing. They're just like zombified with TV and music and media. They're just zombies, you know. And so these avatars are the NPCs and the background people. But the story has to play out. So it plays out. So your mind is spirit. So as you're thinking... What you're thinking plays out in front of you in a storyline the next day because every day is the same. And so what you're thinking today will happen tomorrow. If it's a strong enough thought, it will start to create copies and patterns. And so since you're an avatar of God, a representative, a, you're carrying around the Spirit of God. So the body of Christ is one. You're one with Jesus, John chapter 15 or so. You're one with the body of Christ. You're one with Jesus. You have the mind of Christ. You know all things. You're, you're a representative and ambassador down here in Babylon. And so what's happening is two stories are playing out at the same time. And so when the message, the gray area of your brain receives the message, you interpret it through your heart, through your spirit, through your, through your ability to rightly divide the word of truth, through all the data points, all the puzzle pieces, and you give out the truth and this is why the malicious narcissist hates you when you walk in the room. Anybody who's saved knows what I'm talking about. You walk in the room and they have to hate you because you've got the message of love, truth, joy, peace, goodness, meekness, faith. They've got the message of drunkenness, lying, cheating, stealing, uh, flesh mind, flesh creatures, murder, thievery, uh, the law, the ladder killer. They are under death. You're under life. And so that, so you see the two witnesses and you see the 144,000. They have the gifts uh, during the tribulation. They have the gifts to, to not die, right? And so as an avatar, God can sustain your body without even... No matter what. I mean, Apostle Paul rose from the dead. God can sustain your body. God can uh, sustain you because you're doing his storyline. You're just a clay to, you're in a, it's like a cartoon down here. But it's a story. It's important because God is winning souls. Just because it's like a cartoon doesn't mean it's not important. Because even when somebody writes a cartoon, there's deep truth inside the cartoon. Like when you're a child, you watch all these cartoons, but they should be teaching you good things as object lessons to grow up and to learn how to be a good person or whatever, do right. So anyway, even though 3D is a cartoon compared to the spirit, it's a, it's a cartoon that's used to cut out your flesh mind 
to get you in the spirit mind and you can walk in the storyline of walking in the spirit love your neighbors yourself love your enemy uh, forgive no bitterness just stay in uh, forgiveness and stay out of bitterness <clears throat> Love everybody. Serve while you're down here because this is not your home, and just do do what you're do what you're called to do, you know. Because it's just a repeat story, and so the gray matter of your brain takes the message from the spirit plane, and depending on if you're saved or unsaved, if you're walking in the flesh or walking in the spirit, you interpret that according to that true storyline or the anti. So the malicious narcissist interprets everything through the anti storyline. And so the antichrist possesses, the devil possesses some people, but some people he just takes captive at will. Those that he possesses, those are the malicious narcissists. Those that he just takes captive, those are just the narcissists who's walking in the flesh. Or they might even be saved. Some of them could be saved, and they're just walking in the flesh at that moment. If you can hear what I'm saying, the color gray is conveyance. If you look at your parking lot, it's black and white. In between that is what? Gray. The gray area. The gray area is where the division happens from light and dark. The story of the light or the story of dark. Now, here's the thing. One can take down a thousand, two can take down ten thousand. The reason is, on the left hand side of the cross is 33% of the dark, the horror show, the dark side. On the right hand side of the cross is 66%, 66 books of the Bible, 66% light. So when you turn the light switch on, the dark has to flee. So by turning the light on, the dark is revealed as weakness. The dark is weak. The 33%, Jesus went to the cross at 33 for all mankind. So one can take down a thousand, two, ten thousand. So we see what the devil is doing with the high Borg mind. He's trying to get a, a whole world full of hive minded creatures through their drugs, through the electronics, through the AI program. The devil's trying to get a hive mind through electronics to defeat and to wear out the saints. And so. The way to beat the devil is to have one or two people that you can pray with, to walk in the Spirit, to die daily, uh, to take up your cross daily. Don't walk under law. Don't walk under the flesh. Walk by faith. You're saved by faith. You walk by faith. And everything that you do, be diligent and manage your body ship and listen for the message from above because that message is real. And God is revealing the truth through the humans of the culmination of the ages. He's revealing the truth by his spirit. And so the dark side might write it in a script in a movie and it's being revealed, but it's the anti-version. But you can watch a movie and flip it up, flip it right side up and see the whole truth that lines up with the Bible. Because they can only interpret the spirit, what's the spirit's revealing, like all inventions, like Tesla and all that. All these inventions are, are downloaded from the spirit realm. Man thinks he's inventing something when it's already been. And so it's already written, people. You think you're motivated to do it, but God has put in your avatar body, your, your human body, he's already gave you a script and a role and a position and uh, whatever you want to call it. God has already put you in a, a role and he's given you a, uh, something to do. And so you're just playing it out. You think you're inventing it. You enjoy it. I mean, he knows that you're going to enjoy it because he made you and he knows what you enjoy. So he puts you in that position that you think you're doing because you enjoy it, but it's really not you. He did it. It's his spirit in you. You understand? If you can hear that, then you can see through the whole game.